Hey guys, Mario here from MTG Doc Diagnosis, Doctor by Day, Magic the Gather by Night, and today we are going to open up this. <laughs> Got you with the face. This is a this is actually a double feature in Innistrad Draft Booster. Uh, these are for drafting. They're not for opening on camera so that other people can see them. And plus, there's no fun in that. So this will stay sealed until they can be drafted or sold for a profit at a later date. Maybe two or three years from now when it comes out that this is probably the most rarest pack of or set of magic cards because... They decided that uh, nobody wanted to buy them, so they didn't make many, and then they never go back to making double features ever again because of poor response and um, lots of negative uh, reaction to it. So this will be either drafted or stored for collection. This it's called the set booster. These are supposed to be opened on camera because these you can't draft with. They're just for collectors and for um, people like me who like to open up packs, crack packs for fun. I'm gonna this open here. Share with you the excitement of opening up set boosters so there's a box topper hopefully we get something nice there some hold on one second all right so these set boosters we're going to start cracking some packs. See what we got. This time I promised to remember to open up the box topper. Here's our, uh, what's this called? Artist, art series card. It's cool art. Look at that. The twins. I don't, not twins, but whatever this is the lands in this set they're black and white lands with some color there <sighs> these are commons commons uncommons so these have this fang showcase blood type harvester this is our um i think that's a Commander card? Creature wolf flash at the beginning of your upkeep for each creature you control. That's a wolf or a werewolf. Create a 2-2 two, two green wolf creature token. Nice. 6 or 4-4 four, four, and you can make a bunch. Of Our first rare is a Headless Rider. We got a Markov Waltzer as our um, foil. And then we got a card. A blank card. Token. Let's see, oh, here's our foil. Belligerent guest. Old Rustine. Skulking killer. There's our uncommons here. Belligerent guest, skulking killer, and uh, double sided <clears throat> uncommon. Art card is this ugly thing. Land. And these are commons. A couple more on commons. Let's see, anything good yet? Nothing good yet. You'll know when I hit something good. Oh, that's a nice art card. That's a uh, plains, I think. Mountain. Commons. Uncommons. Common. Inspired ideas are rare, and honeymoon hearse is our foil. I think these set boosters have a foil card in every pack.
We also can have one of 300 cards from the list, which is cards from back in the day from Magic the Gathering. Set boosters, commons, uncommons, another common, another common. Torrance Fist of the Angels is a rare. Drift Riders are, and then it's Spirit Token. Get the Fangs is our art card. It's an island. Commons, four, four commons, two, two uncommons, another common, another uncommon, another fang card. Rare is wing portent, which is the worst rare in this set, if you ask me. And then our foil, common foil, massive mix. Boom. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Rare is Dominating Vampire. This is our foil card and then Blood token. Blood tokens are pretty good, actually. If you ask me, discard a card, sacrifice this artifact, draw a card for uh, one mana. Let you uh, mill through your deck. Get a land late in the game, you can use that. Art card. Land. Commons. Uncommons. Common, common. Well, Darren Bloodcasters are rare. Cobble Lancers are foil. A human with a pitchfork. <clears throat> Let's go. This guy. What's that? Dracula Blood Immortal. That's the name of that card. One, two, three, four. One, two. Come. Oh, yeah. Wait. Oh, this is a good. Holy shit. This is a good pack. So you got the wedding thing, which is probably the second most expensive card in this set because it's a commander card. It only comes in these set boosters. Doesn't come in the um, draft boosters. Um, when it's two white for two, when wedding ring enters the battlefield, if it was cast during a point... If it was cast, target opponent creates a token that's a copy of it. Whenever an opponent who controls an artifact named Wedding Ring draws a card during their turn, you draw a card. Whenever an opponent who controls an artifact named Wedding Ring gains life during their turn, you gain that much life. So you and one of your opponents can gain life and draw cards, which is great for white. So you kind of give this to your opponent who has like uh, blue or plays green. And you can gain life and draw cards whenever they do. That's our first mythic. Nice. It's a great, great card. And then uh, full arts, lands, dual lands, red and blue, which are two great, great colors. So this is a good card. Uh, enters the battlefield tapped unless you control two or more other lands. And so if you, you know, it's a late play or uh, late in the game, you can get that and... And then you got the green and black death cap into the battlefield tapped unless you control two more other lands. So, nope. And then the foil is uh, uncommon, not good, but damn, that's a great pack. Three good cards in there. Two lands, one of them a full art, alternate art, and the wedding ring. I was hoping to get that. I want to get the wedding ring, and the other card I'm looking for is Soren. The Mirthless. Sworn the Mirthless and Wedding Ring. Those are the two cards I was hoping to get out of this pack. So I got one of them, so can't complain. Investigator Journal. Artifact Clue. And then our Uncommon. And then our Spirit Token. Another Spirit Token. But this one is a 4 4 flying. <laughs> 
And we're not even through half the box yet. Ah. Oh, there's that guy. Uh, what's his name? Edgar. Charmed Groom. Groom. Not Common Commons. Commons. Rare is Howling Moon. It's a nip. That's our uh, foil. And then this is the day night mechanic where if you have a creature like a werewolf during day, you know, it comes out into day, and then if you, player casts no spells, it turns to night. Player casts two, at least two spells during the turn, turns to day again. So you gotta have that token if you're gonna play werewolves. Hmm. Aura and hospitality. Number four. Uncommon, uncommon. Common, common. Markov purifier. Concealing curtains. I like this. It's a black for zero, four, defender for three. You can transform it. And then since it was already in play, you can attack the turn, you transform it. And then uh, target opponent raises a hand. You may choose a non-land card from it. If you do, that player discards that card and then draws a card. It's got menace. Nice. I like it. I like it. All right. And then this is our card from the list. Guttural response. Counter target blue instant spell for a red or a green. Wow. Play with that card. Mm. What that is hmm. common, uncommon, common, rare. Garoff Visionary Stitcher. I like this guy. I like this guy because when he's in play, your zombies have flying. But for one blue, sacrifice a creature, non-token creature, and you can get a zombie t token that basically is a flying token. So, you know, for the top. Oh, nice. And we got a rare foil, Dollhouse of Horrors. And exile a creature card from your graveyard. Create a token that's a copy of the exile card, except it's a zero zero construct artifact in addition to its other types and it has this creature gets minus or plus one plus one for each construct you control. It gains haste until end of turn. Activate only as a sorcery. Nice. It is expensive, but for that ability, it's worth it. And I love that it's a foil. And then here's another card from the list: Invisible Stalker. One one for two. Hexproof. Invisible Stalker is unblockable. So for two mana, you get a hexproof, unblockable creature, and you play something like. I don't know, something that gives it plus two, plus two. You got a three, three hexproof unblockable creature. That's going to be really hard for your opponent to uh, take care of. Almost impossible. So I like that card. Moving on, moving on. So far, that one pack was amazing. Rest are eh. I think these set boosters are hit or miss with the packs. All right, here we go. Imperious Mindbreaker. So this is a commander card, meaning uh, you don't draft. This is not in the draft boosters. Um, three for a one four soul bound. You may pair this creature with another unpaired creature. When it enters the battlefield, they remain paired for as long as you control both of them. As long as Imper Imperious Mind. Imperious Mindbreaker is paired with another creature. Each of these, each of the, uh, each of those creatures has whenever this creature attacks each opponent mills cards equal to its toughness. Wow, that's one four. Damn, you can make your opponent. Oh, and a Dorothea Vengeful Victim and a great artifact. One of my favorite artifacts, Ceremonial Knife in foil. Ceremonial Knife. Let you, uh, whenever your creature attack deals combat damage, 
you get a blood token. And then uh, Dorothea is awesome because, you know, she comes in two for four, four flyer, tax blocks or blocks, sacrifice it, and then it becomes an enchantment that creates one, one white spirit creature token with flying that are tapped and attacking that you sacrifice at the end of the turn. And that's just amazing. Love it. Mm hmm. Let's keep going. Hit rolling. Oh, here we go. We got a foil land. So pretty. It's a pretty foil land. Commons. Some commons. Markov Walter. Odric, Blood Curse. Oh, here we go. A Sundown Pass. Oh, here we go. So here's our rare. We got two rares in this pack. A Sundown Pass foil. Uh, red, blue, or red, white. And then this is a Goblin Assassin. Uncommon, 2-2, two, two, whenever Goblin Assassin. three. It's five to cast. Whenever it comes as another Goblin comes into play, each player flips a coin. Each player who coin comes with tail sacrifices a creature. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Goblins. What can you do? Stinking goblins. Bam. Flame. Flame bla blessed bolt. Oh, here we go. Another foil land. Commons. Uncommons. Pretty uncommons that time. Common, common. Rare. Change of fortune. Discard your hand, then draw a card for each card you've discarded this turn. Four. Oh, Runa Stormkirk. Oh, hello. Okay, so Runa Stormkirk is basically, uh, this is a foil rare. F three for one four flying. When it enters the battlefield, up to one target creature you can from your graveyard on top of your library. Put one creature from your graveyard on top of your library. At the beginning of your upkeep, look at the top card of your library. You may reveal that card if it's a creature with mana value six or greater. Is reveal this way. Transform Runa Stormkirk. Three five Kraken flying. Crothus Lord of the Deep attacks. Create a tapped and attacking token that's a copy of another creature attacking another attack creature. If that creature is a Kraken, Leviathan, Octopus, or Serpent, create two of those tokens instead. Nice, Kraken Lord. Kraken Horror. And then we got a Mythic Dragon Lord Dr Dromo Dromoka. Six for a five seven flying. Can't be countered. Flying lifelink. Your opponents can't cast spells during your turn. Yes. Yeah, baby. Stop your opponents from casting stuff during your turn. Oh, you got a blue counter spell deck? Oh, sorry like this guy all right let's keep going hmm. i don't know if that guy's worth anything Oops. me a black and white art card gift of fangs Commons, uncommon, common, common. Blood Vile Purveyor. Now this art is amazing. I mean, look at that. It looks amazing. Blood Vile Purveyor. Flying Trample 5-6. Whenever an opponent casts a spell, that player creates a blood token. Whenever a Blood Vile Purveyor attacks, it gets plus one plus zero for each blood token dependent player controls. 5-6 for 4 Flying Trample is amazing, okay? Hard to kill, uh, kills a lot of 4 or less flying, and then this ability, or he gets a plus 1 plus 0 for each blood token your opponent has. Oh, Sigardia Summons. That's a rare. Creatures you control with plus 1 plus 1 counters on them have are 4-4 four, four flying and angels in addition to their other types. Plus, if they have a plus 1 plus 1 counter, they're already 5-5. Five, five. And then Honored Heirloom is our foil. Not bad so far. Oh, don't forget, this is for drafting, not for opening. 
<laughs> Just a reminder. Interlude reminder. This is a commander card, soul bound six. As long as it's paired with another creature, each of those creatures has at the beginning of combat on your turn create a token that's a copy of this creature, except it has haste and lose loses soul bound, exile at the end of combat. Oh, nice. So this soul bound is uh, I think it's a new um, new ability or whatnot. Hallowed haunting. That this is our uh, un, this is our uh, mythic. Four, as long as you control seven or more enchantments, creatures you control have flying and vigilance whenever you cast an enchantment spell. Create a white spirit creature token with this creature's power and toughness each equal to the number of spirits you control. Yeah, spirits deck. Dreadlight monstrosity is our um, foil. Will we find Soren? We found the... Uh, we found the uh, wedding ring. Commons, uncommons, another common, common. We got a dual land here. Vampire Slayer is a foil and day night token. Token to tell you to play arena. Here's an art card. Oh, shit. Cavernous, whatever. Commons, uncommons. Oh, Dreadfeast Demon. This is a great card. Six, six, seven for a six, six flying at the beginning of your end step. Sacrifice a non green, non demon creature. If you do, create a token that's a copy of Dreadfeast Demon. Damn. Make that thing, make tokens of that thing. And the token has the same ability. That's amazing. You know? I'm going to make tokens that make tokens of themselves. Oh, here we go. Here's our signature card. Bernard. Sign this. Who is that? Oliver Bernard. That's an O, Oliver Bernard. <sighs> Signature card. Commons, uncommons. Here's our werewolf, vampire, curse of hospitality, and then our foil, uncommon. This keeps going. This box just keeps going. Love it. Another art card here. And we're commons, uncommons, common, uncommon, common, uncommon, rare. Dream Shackle Geist. This is a good card. Flying at the beginning of combat, choose one. Tap target creature, target. Target creature doesn't untap during his controls next untap step. So you can either tap something or have something not untap. Dragon Illusion. 4-4 four, four Flying Haste. Something makes those tokens. I'm pretty sure it's a dragon that makes those tokens. Here's the one without the signature. Common, 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 uncommon. Common, uncommon, uncommon, common. How pack Piper, the spell can't be counted to two, blah, blah, blah. Comes as 4 4 and then back transforms. Look at the top six cards of your library. You may reveal a creature card from among them and put it into your hand, put the rest in the bottom of your library in a random order. It's all right. Not that great, actually. Let's get a rare, it's a better. Like a dead beast demon. A 
triplets. Oh, look at that foil land. Commons, uncommons, common. Oh, a rare Edgar Charm Groom in its alternate. Oh, yeah, and he turns into Edgar Markov's coffin. So. This guy is 4444, four, four, four. other vampires you control, gain plus one, plus one. When he dies, return it to the battlefield, transform. So when he dies, he becomes this legendary artifact. At the beginning of the okay, create a 1-1 one, one white and black vampire creature token with lump link, life link and put a bloodline counter on Edgar. Then if there are three or more bloodline counters on it, remove those counters and transform it. Nice. And then Thalia is a rare. Guardian of Thraben, first strike, 2-1, non-creature spells, cost one more to cast. Okay, another list card, Bleak Coven Vampire, 4-3 for 5, Metalcraft. When it enters the battlefield, if you control three or more artifacts, target player loses four life and you gain four life. Not bad. I mean, it does four damage, four drain life uh, right when it comes in. If you have three or more artifacts, pretty easy enough to do. Common, uncommon, common, uncommon, common. Ooh, another dual lane. Can't go wrong with those. Oh, I remember this card, Boiling Blood. Target creature attacks his turn to Fable. Draw a card for three, and you can make your opponent's creatures attack. Oh, you're 1-1. One, one. That's what I attack. I'm going to make it attack. Not bad. I don't think I utilized that card much in, back in the day. These are weather like cards, so. Oh, second signature card. This is Megali Villanueva. Megali Villanueva, he's actually a pretty good art. Villanueva. He's actually a pretty good artist. Got his signature. Nice. Common, uncommon. Common. Oh, you got a rare commander card. Six for a one eighth reach soul brown. As long as it's paired with another creature, each of those creatures has, when this creature dies, draw cards equal to its power. <sighs> you bastard. <laughs> but it is a one eighth, so it's hard to kill. It's got reach too. Damn. Uh, patchwork crawler. Exile target creature from the graveyard and put a plus one plus one counter on it. it has all activated abilities, all key creature cards exiled with it. Hmm. This is a great card. Probably the best one drop in Magic right now. Besides that Rava game. Wall of Blood. Three for a zero two. Pay one life, it gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. Ugh. 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 That's a bad card. Ugh. Yeah, you can like, it's like nobody wants to attack you because then you can just pay your life to, whoops, sorry about that. Card too. Wolf Strike, Honey Moon Hearse, Groom's Finery, Radiant Grace, Celebrants, Catilda, Katil Dawn Heart Martyr. That's this card right here. And it's a Spirit Warlock, Life Flying Life Link, Protection from Vampires, Power and Toughness is each equal to the number of permanents you control that are spirits and/or enchantments. And it's disturb cards so, so when it's in the graveyard. But I think it's like and then it's a spirit. Yeah, it's at least one one. A chain creature and chain creature has flying, lifelink, and protection for vampires, and it gets plus X plus X with a number of spirits. 
If till dawning, rising dawn, will be put into a graveyard from there, exile it. So it becomes an enchantment for five that can do all that. Not bad. Common though. Oh, where are all the mythics? Where are all the mythics? Come on. Good luck. Good luck. No whammies, no whammies. No whammies. Da -da. Uncommon, common. Another sundown pass. What is this? Oh, is that a land box? Yeah. Get yourself a zombie token. Three packs left. The last three packs, and then we got our box topper. Mmm. Commons, uncommons, common, uncommon. Oh, I like, actually I like this uh, art, Tor In Innocent Traveler. I mean, that's a nice art card. Epic here. And now we got the Graph Reaver. Sucks. This guy stinks. Don't waste your time. <laughs> Is your rare? You should be an uncommon. Graph reader. Oldrick. Two, three, four. Uncommon, uncommon. Common, uncommon. Oh! Crawl Knock the Omnivore. Alternate art. Frog. Whenever a frog you control attacks, mill three cards. Whenever a permanent card is put into your graveyard from your library, exile with a crow counter on it. You may play lands and cast spells with mm, among cro counters you own in exile with crow counters on them. Hmm. Oh, whole breach horror. Amazing card. Seven, eight. Can't be countered. Flash. Whenever you cast a spell, choose up to one. Return target spell you don't control to its owner's hand. Return target non-land permanent to its owner's hand. You're going to be using the second ability a lot. It's permanent, so it can target um, anything, including lands. Oh, and then you got a foil uncommon there. Last card in this box. Last card in this box. Will we get Soaring? No, I doubt it. Because it gave us... Uh, I doubt it because it gave us the wedding ring. Common, uncommon, uncommon, ill tempered loner, infantry, pursuit of knowledge. What is this? Pursuit of knowledge, enchantment. This is from 1998. It's an old card. Strong, stronghold, I think. Four, skip drawing a card. Put a study counter on Pursuit of Knowledge. Remove three study counters from Pursuit of Knowledge. Sacrifice Pursuit of Knowledge. Draw seven cards. Hmm. Yeah, better than I can. I don't know if that's good or not. I mean, sometimes you can cheat putting counters on it with uh, Proliferate. If you have a Proliferate deck, you know, four for this and then Proliferate twice and then you can... Remove three study counters and sacrifice it right away and draw seven cards. <laughs> and then our very ill tempered loner. All right. Now, what you've all been waiting for. <sighs> Drum roll, please. Oh my god, this is the worst card ever. This is my second. I think I opened this last time on the camera. Search the Count's Castle. Thirst for discovery. Draw three cards and discard two cards unless you discard a basic land card. Oh my god. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Talk to you guys next time.